it is officially summer and i know that we're doing a lot of traveling we've been you know cooped up and unable to get to the places where we've wanted to go the last couple of years so we are jet setting and getting across the world so i'm so excited today to share with you a bunch of travel Amazon favorites or must haves that I absolutely cannot live without when it comes to getting around and getting about exploring this world that we live on. What's up, my name is Everyday Cachet and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, typically on this channel we talk plus size fashion and style, lifestyle and the like. So if you're into any of that, you should definitely go ahead and tap on the subscribe button. But as I mentioned, today I'm going to be sharing my travel favorites with y'all and I think we should go ahead and get into it. Some of these Amazon must-haves are items that I've just gotten and absolutely won't travel without them henceforth or others are those that I've been using forever and ever and you'll be able to see some of the wear on them but let's go ahead and jump in with the very first item so first up is this jewelry organizer or travel carrying case for all of my accessories. As you can see, I like to outfit myself with lots of bling, lots of piercings I have going on, so they require lots of rings. I like bracelets, I like all of the things. So I definitely needed a jewelry organizer or jewelry case that would be able to not only hold all of the jewelry that I like to take with me when I'm traveling, but also be able to safely and securely without my items breaking, um, hold all of my jewelry. So this jewelry carrying case, I got in the light pink color. And I actually saw this first on one of my favorite YouTubers, Raven Elise's storefront, and I decided to give it a try. Now that I have it, I definitely, definitely will be continuing to use this. I've already taken it on two trips, a road trip and across the continents over to Europe. It has all of the compartments, um, allows you little clips to be able to safely separate your necklaces. Uh, it's it's got some carrying pouches, so like little pouch holders down here. Got some ring holders, so these snap into place once you put your rings on them. A little zipper pouch, it even has a little storage spot for your earrings, like your post earrings, which is super cool. So yeah, this is great, and I think this is actually maybe the medium size, so there may be one larger and likely one smaller as well. Um, but since I saw it, I definitely will say that this is a must have because it keeps all of your jewelry nice and secured as I mentioned but also gives you all of the opportunities to specifically grab for a particular type of jewelry so make sure that you grab this if you you know like this item everything's going to be linked down in the description box below so you can shop this item and if you're new to shopping Amazon especially through the recommendations of people like me some of your favorite content creators then you may not know but I'm happy to share that if you purchase any one of these items that I mentioned, I may receive a little bit of a commission kickback on your purchase without you having to do anything extra. So if you click one of the links down below in the description box and decide that you love that item enough to want to give it a shot um, or are interested in trying it out, then through your purchase, I might get a little, a little monies. Okay. And we love that here. It helps to support the channel and allows me to be able to try some of these other Amazon items and products so that I can recommend them to you um, if they are worthy. So let's go ahead and move on to the next item. All right, y'all, so this next item are these Cruise Runners fake like shampoo and conditioner bottles. As you can see, they come in different sizes. I took these on a cruise. So I went on a cruise back in March to the Bahamas. Did we go to the Bahamas? It was the Bahamas. Dang. So long ago. I took a cruise for a bachelorette trip to the Bahamas back in March and we took these and you may know why we used these. <laughs> we used these to make sure that we could um, uh, add any additional adult beverages. And these look like shampoo and conditioner bottles. They were completely undetectable. You know, the, the set cost about 17 or 20 bucks, but it is totally worth it. I think you get four of each size. So you get like four of these, look, four of these full size bottles. And then you also get four of the smaller bottles as well. I think I took maybe one or two of the smaller bottles, I believe, and then one of the big bottles. And one of the big bottles actually takes care of kind of like your personal size alcohol bottle. So yeah, these actually worked. I was really surprised. Um, and we took them in our, I always get this backwards. We took them in our carry-on. Yes, I think, I'm pretty sure. We took them in our carry-on. Yes, it worked. And so 
Um, these are definitely a must have. I don't do cruises often, but if I decided that I would go on another cruise, then I would definitely consider taking these items with me unless I, you know, purchase like a drink package or something, which can get to be really, really expensive. So paying 20 bucks and then for whatever bottle you purchase, you can save a bunch of money with this travel hack. So let's go ahead and move on to the next travel item. Speaking of saving money, this next Amazon must have is absolutely a way to save and secure your dollars, especially when you're traveling. It is this underarm shoulder pouch or bag. As you can see, it looks a little weird, <laughs> but I actually took this with me to Paris. Before traveling over to Paris, I went to Greece and I went to Paris. So if you're interested in seeing those videos, I will link them above head and down in the description box so you can check those out next. But I was doing some research before I traveled to Paris and I noticed and saw that Paris is really well known for pickpocketing, especially for tourists. There are so many different scams, but among the top scams are pickpocketing. Here on YouTube, I saw people who were walking, you know, tourists, and they were wearing backpacks and there were groups and teams of thieves just wrapped in blankets and they would, you know, follow the people and like slowly take different items. And I was like, I was amazed. And I was like, I cannot afford both literally and figuratively <laughs> for things that I worked hard, you know, for to be able to get to Paris and to be able to enjoy um, my Paris trip. I can't afford for those things to get stolen from somebody pickpocketing. So I picked this up and I believe I paid well under $20 for this. It was maybe like 17 or 18 bucks, but it is kind of like a little harness and you wear it underneath each arm. It may fit a little differently, but it reminds me of kind of like a holster either for those that are interested in photography you know like if you're carrying two cameras or like someone in law enforcement that wears kind of like you know a holster or whatever on either side but yeah i went ahead and grabbed this and i absolutely love it look at all of the compartments so in one of these i carried money i carried my passport i left an ink pen in here for the next time that i decide to travel and need um you know something like this it velcros right here and then there is on the back side a little pouch as well look at that love that so that if you wanted you can keep something really close to your body without you know having to fear that it will get lost and then on this side it gives you a couple of other smaller compartments so this is where i think i kept my like loose euros and then over here in this smaller pouch that doesn't have any kind of um, lid or, or closure to it i kept my little like metro passes so i wasn't as worried about these if somebody were to get on the inside of my blazer or my jacket or even my hoodie they would really have to be up on me to get to it but if they did um, they wouldn't this wouldn't be something that i would care so much about and then on the back side you do also get another one of these um, kind of open pouches you even get a little clip down here which is cool so if you use like carabiners you can use this and so yeah really like this it clips so you can attach it to yourself your belt or something but yeah it's just it, it was perfect and it's adjustable so you can kind of tailor it to your comfort this is definitely something that i will absolutely be carrying with me especially if i'm traveling you know on solo trips by myself or if i'm traveling to a place that is known for thievery <laughs> so i definitely wanted to make sure that everything was safely secured on me and it absolutely was with this so a must-have faux show let's go ahead and move on to the next item before we move on to the next item, I wanted to share with you all um, something that one of my subscribers right here on YouTube sent me. And as we're talking about travel, it really made me think about, you know, my life and my abilities to be able to travel and explore the world um, in ways that not everybody has the opportunity. So I just wanted to take some time to highlight no bibs, burps, bottles. <laughs> this is a creator that makes, you know, some good merch. I've got some bags here, some t-shirts. Um, that just encourages women to live their best child-free life. And that's exactly what I am doing. Most certainly it is going to be on my terms if I, you know, decide to have children um, and win and, you know, I don't have any just yet. So in the meantime, I'm a travel. And especially like these women right here. Oh, and I certainly will say as a future mom, I would pray, I intend to travel with my children, but for right now, okay, 
I'm going to get on these planes. <laughs> but I just wanted to take some time to, you know, kind of share, especially right now, because this is a, a sensitive time to, you know, consider having children or, or not to, and just all of the ways that being a, a parent have come into current events lately. So just wanted to take some time to highlight my girl Angela and say thank you for sending over a journal and a bag and a t-shirt and all of the things, all of the goods. She can be followed at No Bibs Burps Bottles on Instagram, on YouTube, and on Twitter at No Bibs Burps B-O-T-T, -T, so short for bottle. Um, and it says, yeah, just empowering sisters to live their best child-free life. That's exactly what I am doing until you know God decides hey I'm gonna plant one on her <laughs> all right so moving on to the next travel item and I hope y'all are enjoying this video so far if you are go ahead and tap on the like button and let's get into the next Amazon travel must-have okay so next up for my Amazon must-haves are these mini travel perfume bottles hope y'all let me see ooh, ooh. can we see can we see yeah, <laughs> these little mini perfume bottles have been perfect for me, especially when you want to smell good and you still want to take your liquids. But obviously your perfume bottle may be, you know, eerily shaped or hard to carry or maybe more than your, you know, three fluid ounces. So I decided to grab these. This comes in a pack of, gosh, I think 10 and I maybe paid less than $10 for this, maybe like five or six bucks. Comes with a little dropper so you can like grab, you know, your perfume and put it in here. And yeah, it's just, it's perfect. It just reminds you of kind of like the sample perfumes that they give you. So I use these, obviously you can see. And I actually use these not only for traveling, um, like on a road trip or, or traveling by plane, but I also use these just when I need to like carry fragrance with me. And I don't necessarily want you know, like the eau de toilette of a, a particular fragrance, right? I'll take my actual perfume and then boom, which really, if you're wearing the perfume, you would hope that the longevity or there's a particular word for it, but I can't think of it right now, but you would, the CI, is it CI? You would hope that the longevity of wear would last you so that you wouldn't have to take a little travel, but this is perfect for um, putting it in your purse and just going when you need to without having to worry about your perfume, you know, kind of dying out if you need to do a little touch up. So for six bucks or less, maybe, you know, even a little more, but certainly under 10, this is definitely worth having. Speaking of items that are worth having, we're gonna go ahead and talk very briefly about um, this SPF 50 sunscreen. Y'all, I grabbed this from Cetaphil and this is absolutely not one of my favorites, but it is an Amazon must have. So I'm not wearing any makeup today, uh, but I do typically wear makeup. One of the reasons why I'm not wearing makeup today is because I've got some hyperpigmentation and just some, you know, areas where I really wanna spend good focus, just kind of correcting some of the hyperpigmentation and dark spots and things. and in different parts of my body. So to be able to do that, I need to be protecting my skin, of course, from the sun. We all do. I mean, we love, you know, all of the good vitamins and nutrients that we get from sunshine, but they can also be harmful to us. So I decided to be sure that I am, you know, protecting my skin in the utmost effort with SPF 50. I usually use for my face an SPF 30 or SPF 35, but baby, okay, I'm just, I'm really trying to be proactive here. So decided to go with an SPF 50. This isn't exactly a favorite because it does leave a white cast or a film however if I'm out on the beach somewhere and I'm like trying to tan or be out which I have done in the past um, as you you know can probably well see from photos um, I like to you know make sure that I'm well protected so that I don't actually burn because I do in my scalp on my shoulders like it's happened before um, so SPF 50 is good so I use this on my elbows which I'm trying to like correct some discoloration here on my knees, on my face, just areas where typically body parts, you know, for me, get a little darker, especially with exposure from the sun. So SPF 50 sunscreen, an absolute must have for me, even though my, you know, traditional like wear style, this wouldn't be a favorite, still definitely a must have. All right, y'all, just a couple of more items here. The next item that I absolutely need when I am traveling is this light and mirror. And you can actually probably tell that I use it. It's got even some makeup stains there. Um, but this, uh-oh, is she not charged? Baby, she ain't charged. Anyway, 
I used this mirror when I was in Europe and it was perfect because as you all probably well know, resorts and hotels and Airbnbs, they don't always have the best lighting. So to be able to have, you know, a, a mirror where you can like bring it up close, right? Because the lighting may not be perfect or to have an additional light. And I'll try to light it, like plug this in and charge it so I can show you the light. But um, it's, it's, you know, something you gotta have. So this I believe cost me about 16 or $17, but it is absolutely worth it. It is nice and flat and compact, so it's easy to pack. I would recommend because it is a mirror though, to pack it in the middle of your packing cubes or in the middle of your clothing so as to protect the mirror from breaking. But this is definitely a must have and I use it every time I am doing my makeup or even just general skincare while I'm on vacation. Next up is actually something that I don't have in my hand to show you right now. I recently moved, so I'm not entirely sure where my mom and I both stored our passports. However, I do use a passport holder and this is the one. And I took this with me to Greece and Paris and I absolutely loved it. It also has a space for your vaccination card. So as you can see, um, you know, you can slide in your vaccination record there. And I actually use this as well to like store my boarding passes behind my vaccination record or just lying it flat in between the cover so that it'd be easy to access. Uh, you can also place your passport so that it opens directly to your face page, as I call it. So, you know, the page with your picture and all of your credentials and details. Uh, but this is definitely by all means a must have. I believe this one cost me about $14.99 but it is worth it and they have so many different types and styles and it's just something that you want to have when you're traveling to both store and protect your passport and you know just to make sure that you have all of the things readily available that you need when you're about to board a flight or when you need to you know show your vaccination record um, so certainly a must-have and I recommend this one particularly Next up is this bungee strap for your luggage. Y'all absolutely love this right here. Okay, um, if you know, you know. I travel as, as lightly as I can or with as few bags <laughs> as I can and I try to make those bags really small. So a carry-on and a personal bag or like a duffel and a um, like carry-on suitcase. If you wish to see some of my packing practices, I will also link my pack with me. I fit like 10 or 12 outfits in a really small carry-on bag. Cause I mean, who's paying for luggage out here if you don't have to? So um, it is helpful sometimes for me to have this bungee so that I can connect my luggage um, to one another. So the actual rolling bag to maybe the duffel and this bungee strap helps to keep everything in there together. So if you have a personal bag and uh, it's something that, you know, would traditionally open, maybe like a shoulder bag um, and you're also carrying like a carry on, this is super easy. One snap, boom, it's straight stretchy and it just holds your bags together. I'll show you how I typically do this so that you can, you know, see how to use it. But yeah, this is, I mean, for 10 or 12 bucks, definitely, absolutely worth the must have if you wanna save some money on paying for your luggage. And speaking of paying for your luggage, Sometimes I'm not the lightest of packers and in those times, this next item I actually don't carry with me, but I try to, especially when I'm traveling for a long period of time, it is a good book. So this book is Atomic Habits that I picked up. I actually haven't started reading this one, but I'm super excited that in an upcoming trip, I'll have the opportunity and time to <laughs> dive into this good book. It was recommended to me. I saw it actually on my TikTok, which y'all should also go follow me over there. But yeah, I definitely think, you know, having a good book, something that you can read is a great spend of, you know, any kind of travel prep monies that you may have. Um, so I recommend this one, or you may have seen some of the other books back here uh, that I would also recommend, and you might see those in another video. So go ahead and subscribe. If you can spare the space in your luggage, definitely recommend grabbing you a good read. Next up is an AirPod case. So if you carry with you some headphones and you have specifically the AirPods Pro, this case is super cute. It's a little ice cream. Isn't it cute? It's a darling. I don't have my AirPods in it right now, but I do use this. And I love that it has this little like clip or keychain um, detail so that you can be sure that you're keeping up with it. You can put it on your keys or maybe connect it to your bag. Again, I use lots of carabiners when I'm traveling. So I would recommend clipping something 
<laughs> to something, right? To make sure that you still have it. But yes, this is super cute. Even comes with a little place to charge down at the bottom. I mean, it's just, this is great. Um, so for under $12, if you want just a really cute way to outfit or style your AirPods and be able to travel with them easily, then this is definitely the must have for you. The next one is for my solo travelers. It is a portable door lock. That's right. Ain't nobody sliding in on you with this, okay? So I took this with me to both Greece and Paris, um, and I was so glad that I did because I went on those trips alone. And while I knew people that were going to be in Greece, uh, Paris was a leg that I did on my own, and I was just like, I need to make sure that don't nobody get me, okay? That whole Kim K getting, you know, ran up on, it was, <laughs> Okay, taken, it couldn't have been me. So I made sure by getting a portable door lock. Um, absolutely love, love, love this travel must have to keep you safe. It was recommended, I believe a couple of years ago, I think I may have seen this on TikTok or on Instagram somewhere. And so I was like, oh yeah, next time I go somewhere and especially when you're traveling alone. All right, y'all might've noticed a little bit of like, you know, difference, I'm not sure, um, in my framing, but I had to go, cause baby, we've been talking, I had to go switch my card out. <laughs> but if you are just wanting to keep yourself safe, it doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, somebody that doesn't conform to the binary, baby, this is going to make sure that you secure your door and that you are safe so that nobody can, you know, run up and get done up, okay? So that somebody doesn't run up and get done up as well, this next item is something that I keep with me so that I can just, you know, have a piece of them on me. All right, because otherwise, <laughs> there's right here. Okay, what would Jesus do? <laughs> I've been needing the reminder. I usually wear my purple one and I didn't wear it today because that particular color was like, you know, it just, it wasn't gonna match the vibe. But I wanted to show y'all this one. They come in a couple of different colors. I, I bought a pack off of Amazon um, and they come in like red, blue, purple, green, black, just a whole bunch of like colors. So if you're interested, um, this is also linked down below, but yeah, I, I keep this one on me. All right, usually keep one on me. Sometimes I gotta have a little reminder. Um, and I also, which is not something you can get from Amazon, but I do also keep a mantra band on me. And on the inside it says, God is within her, she will not fail. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm just saying, okay. I'm just saying, Mantra Band, hit me up. Let's get, anyway, this is about Amazon, but call me. Next item, I only have two more left, is a flask, baby, okay? If you are going out, we're living our best child for life, didn't we say? It, maybe you're not, that's okay. You're still living your best life, even if you got kids, but this right here, especially mamas, I know y'all be drinking. <laughs> this little flask right here, um, is one that I saw and I was like, oh, I have to have it. When you travel, you know, obviously you wanna travel with it empty, okay, because you can't be carrying liquids. Uh, but once you get to your destination, this is a must have. I think this was $12.95 or $12.99 or something like that, worth every bit, okay? There are larger ones, I think like the super large ones, which um, work for like homecomings and, you know, when you're just somewhere out and about. But this one is perfect because I can slide it into like a crossbody or something or a large pocket like my army fatigue jacket, you know, something like that or my denim jacket and it can be a conspicuous, um, but absolutely love this flask and definitely recommend it, okay? Get you one. Lastly, okay, maybe you don't need that kind of liquid, but you do need some liquid, is my Nalgene bottle. This is an absolute must have, an absolute must have. So this Nalgene bottle, as you can tell, has been outfitted um, with some, you know, stickers that I just absolutely love. Uh, girl, you're thicker than a bowl of oatmeal is what that one say right there. Um, but this is one that I've had since grad school. It's ODU, you see it. Um, and yeah, the Nalgene bottle is perfect. As you can see, it's got a little um, hook here that attaches to the lid. Uh, and this is super sturdy. Uh, it's BPA free, helps to keep me, you know, from drinking plastics, right, in my water. It's refillable, so I'll usually take an empty one through TSA and then I'll fill it up at the water fountain saves a ton of money because I don't have to buy water. That's like $4.95 at one of the airport shops. And of course keeps me hydrated because you can get really dehydrated 
when you are flying at higher altitudes. So yes, I also do have though, because turbulence be real, and I also use this for other things, not just for travel, but I do also have this splash guard. Uh, it's a little smiley face. And I actually got this splash guard at REI, but I'm sure you can probably find one in this particular brand and style on Amazon. And if I was able to, I definitely linked it down in the description box below. But yeah, y'all, gotta have water. Mm. Mm. Yes, low it. Oh, Jesus. Water just be watering. So good to your soul. Um, so yeah, um, obviously the um, stickers are not included, but I did pick up some stickers. I mean, just over time. So I've got a StockX sticker here. Y'all know I absolutely love sneakers. And if you aren't following me over on Cache's Kickstand, go ahead and follow me over there. I have the No Bibs, Burps and Bottles sticker right there. Um, we got a little whale, cause your girl is thick. Okay, you feel me? Ladies love sneakers too, shout out to them. Got a little chocolate bar, my goat sticker down there. It be like that sometimes, cause period. Anyway, y'all didn't come to learn about the stickers that I love. Y'all came to get these travel um, must haves. And I have just one more that are, is absolutely game changing. And I just wanna share it with you. Um, I'm not gonna pull them out right now because I've got a whole video on using these, but they are these packing cubes. Y'all gotta have you some packing cubes, okay? Packing cubes will absolutely help you to suppress um, your the space that your clothing takes up when you are like trying to roll them or, or fold them. Uh, and again, if you want some good packing practices, I've linked the video up here as well as down in the description box below. But packing cubes definitely, definitely help. Not only to like save space, but also to keep you organized. So if you are somebody that packs in outfits like I do and you know, you know you've got particular occasions, that's usually why we travel, um, that you need to wear a specific outfit for, then it's right there in a particular packing cube. They come in all different sizes and usually can be purchased for under about $25. I think mine was maybe like 17 or 18.99. Boom. There you have it, okay? If you are not ready to travel by now with all of these Amazon must-haves, I don't know what's gonna get you there, okay? I, I tried to help you out. Um, these are a ton of different travel must-haves and I absolutely love that all of these items were easily accessible to me through Amazon. Like they literally have everything. So wanted to just share with you all of the things that I absolutely love and take with me and use when I am traveling. And I hope that you all are excited to travel. Let me know down in the comments below where are you headed this summer or the rest of this year. I've got a couple of destinations up my sleeve and I can't wait to share ex and I can't wait to share my experience in traveling to those places with you. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that you've already tapped on the subscribe button or one of them links down below to, to purchase something, okay? Um, but I'm gonna go get ready to share the other things that I love that I picked up from Amazon and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye. Da! Psh! Too far, it don't work. Well, I hope I'm not ashy. Y'all can see everything, God.